good morning. So I want to just have a quick chat about this uh, big trucker strike for New York City. And I just want to remind folks that so far all of our trucker events have proven to be pretty fruitless. So as you recall, uh, the first major one in, in recent history anyway was right after Canada had their big trucker convoy. Uh, The United States tried to kick up a trucker convoy, and before they could even get across the country, the group was infiltrated. The FBI essentially took over command, and they fizzled it out, right? And then, of course, let's not forget the even more recent one to the border, which, uh, yeah, pretty fruitless there as well. And then now, oh, now there's this truckers for Trump. Right? And they're going to boycott, you know, taking their loads to New York City. Well, there's a problem here. Twofold, there's a problem here. Number one, if you haven't realized yet that uh, truckers like to blow a lot of smoke, okay, well then the other thing that you need to realize is who is it that largely works for the trucking industry at this time? Hmm, those individuals don't give two shits about Trump. And just because Joe Bob or Chicago Ray isn't going to take loads into New York City, they aren't going to have a problem at all finding drivers that will. So what's going to happen out of this? Well, nothing meaningful other than there's probably several truck drivers out there that are going to lose loads. Simple as that. And as a result, the other side of this is I would imagine, because it's the way it works, that different companies share different names, different, you know, of individuals that refuse to take a load, and they will essentially blackball themselves in the trucking industry. So, and that's, that's, that's if it was real. Okay, and and first we got to get to that step. I have to initially start asking questions anytime stuff like this pops up. And the reason why is what I had said at the very beginning. During the, the U.S. trucker convoy to D.C., they didn't even make it across the country before they got infiltrated and the whole thing was taken over. Believe me, this would be no different if, if it had some footing. This doesn't even have footing. So you could be foolish and go out and support them. Go out, go out and support them. It's fruitless. It's, it's even less meaningless than showing up at the ballot box at this point. Fools will be fools. I do have an article here. I really shouldn't need to show you an article. But, you know, I shouldn't have to say any of this. The problem is, is Americans refuse to advance themselves on the learning curve because they're too busy smoking hopium. Quit smoking hopium. It's addictive and not good for you. Your truckers for Trump to boycott driving to New York City after 355 million fraud ruling. By the way, do you think Trump would go out of his way for you? Are you sure? You sure? You really sure? Because how much has he gone out of his way to raise hell about the people that are still being detained for bullshit reasons? Hmm. People are, are as dense and foolish as it comes. I mean, I am literally waiting any day now for people to start watering the fields with Gatorade. I mean, we are, we are right at that point. Says here, a group of truck drivers who support former President Trump have announced they will not be driving to New York City as a means of expressing their disappointment with the civil fraud judgment to fine Trump more than $350 million last week. 
This all comes in response to Trump being barred from operating his business in New York for three years and being found liable for more than $350 million in damages in the civil fraud case brought against him. His family and the Trump Organization by New York Attorney General Letita James. The New York judge Arthur Ngoran handed down this ruling Friday after a months long trial that began in October and stemmed from James's lawsuit that accused the former president of inflating his assets and committing fraud. Like any other business, big business that is. As a result, many pro-Trump truck drivers across the country have not taken the ruling lightly. Got one dollar and it from Chicago. Oh, oh, oh. Really? Have, have people not learned anything? Anything? Not even just a little bit? Chirac? Really? You're going to listen to somebody from Chirac. Okay. I'm just one of the millions, many millions of truckers who believe in God and love this country. A trucker known as Chicago Ray wrote on X, formerly Twitter, I stand with Trump because Trump stands with me. Truckers for Trump ain't just a slogan. It's real, he wrote. It's real. Folks, grow up. Stop being foolish. Shalom.